Okay, uh, first estate sale, actually. I got good stuff, but it's an estate sale, you gotta pay. No, I got good stuff, come on. Don't even start. Like here, this box of patches, they're all like Apollo or, or a Borman level Andres. They're all like to have to do with like space. Here, a NASA. I paid not much. I paid 112 for everything. But, well, you didn't see what I got. I'm not talking about the patches. So, but in here, there's like probably 30 patches. I also got this bronze medallion. They're usually worth like 15 to 50. So let me see if I can show these quick. First land, lunar, Berman Lab, Vanguard, Apollo 12. I mean, we don't even have, NASA's not even putting anything in space anymore. And these patches are nice and clean and they're definitely vintage. If I can get, if I can put these online for like 12 bucks a piece, I mean, it's like front and back picture, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I can do them in lots. I paid almost nothing for them. Like here's Venus Probe. That's a Is it? Young Collins, no clue. I just, you know, if I see a box of patches that are all nice and clean, and then also the bronze medallion was in there. It's like an American flag. Here, look at this one. For, I guess it's like a first man on the moon, kind of. This, is, oh, a Sputnik one. Okay, so I kind of show this. So let me get this out. These are actually cooler padded. Um, I got a bunch of these perfumes. Uh, I've had you do before in this size. It ought to be like 30, 35, something like that. But there, I got multiple quantities, so I can probably just do a single listing. Just fix this. Okay. And they look new and, and full. Somebody had a bottle of Aramis. Oh, fuck. It would have been like 200 bucks. You know, because it was a big one, and, I, and it was sold, so I missed out. Of course, he buys the fucking Aramis. These are sealed under plastic. This is kind of. This is kind of. Oh, hold on. Where he's accelerating. So I'm wearing my seatbelt. Uh, this is kind of cool. It's a clown ashtray. No, actually it's a guy ash. Well, no, it might not even be an ashtray. But it, we're assuming it's Murano. Let's just peel off the stupid felt thing. I mean, I know we can, I'll peel it off and say, yeah, here, this came off of it, which kind of shows how old it is. Um, but it's glass, right? Yeah. It's glass. Yeah. And I don't feel anything wrong with it. A little bit of bubble. Um, and this, like I said, it was 112 for everything. He didn't, I didn't get individual prices on everything. That's the only thing I picked out with that. Oh yeah, that's, but that's actually really cool. Uh, here. Then I got this. Oh no, you found the Fenton Cat, too. Oh yeah. This ought to be 25 and up. I like this being Yeah. The only thing that you're, bothered me a little bit is that it's like brownish. No, we just gotta get, they, they, there's a name for this. It's like a, a kind of cream color. Um, we just got to clean it. You know, a little soapy water. There's more you can do. Like I said, those should sell for more than 30. Oh, ouch. Oh, this is kind of cool. What did we sell the last one for? It was, it was like 25 or... These are like old fly ashtrays, basically. You know, your cigarette rests here, and then you cover it up. That's pretty cool. So 112. I think I get at least 25 for that. Like I said, here's another Youth Do Holiday Edition. Okay, that's unusual. I've never had this before. I think at least 30 to 40 on the perfumes. What's this? Oh, Estee Lauder is always good, and this is a large size, beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to get for it, but... Estee Lauder is always good. Oh, this is cool. Now, they told me it's a bottle cover. It makes sense because the, the, um, 
the the top of the bottle would fit in that hole. So you believe that? So like, like is it, it a pour? Hmm, it could be a pour. Wait a minute, let me see. Could, you could pour. How did you? What did you just do? Oh no, it comes out. Okay. The, the hole goes through his mouth, but it wouldn't pour even because his. He, yeah, he I don't fit. think so. It would come over the sides. I well, think. this is also part of it. I imagine this is at least fifty bucks. That's what I would think. You know what I mean? I, I, that's what I imagine. Well, I don't know because I've never had one before. What's the, what's the paint on it? Okay, I'll put it in plastic. And then this is it. They had jewelry, but it was all garbage. Yeah, someone kind of. Yeah, there's always somebody that beats you. And even if they they take like most of the best stuff, sometimes they leave, but not this time. I went in the room in the back. I'm like, oh, the jewelry's in the room in the back. Maybe nobody saw it. I'm like. Them to set the jewelry up in a back room. Well, probably he, I, that guy get. runs estate sales, apparently, because his prices w weren't. But he doesn't but he's seem. By himself. Yeah, but I that How jewelry can you was put the jewelry junk. Jewelry in the back room. Yeah, that jewelry was junk. You know. So anyway, that's the first sale, 112. Um, I think I did pretty good. Uh, I think for the hundred I spent, at least 500. I think something like that. You know, for a ball pocket. All right, on to the next sale. Okay, uh, second yard sale. That well, this was an actual yard sale, but they were had estate sale prices and items, right? Well, they were uh, antique dealers. Yeah, and I guess they just there's no shows to do that they wanted to. She was talking about doing the elephant trunk, and I recommended oh, that it. Would but be better, yeah, for them. I, 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 she, we were talking. She was thinking like get a hotel, you know. But actually, it sounds like we're almost at work. We're going, so I'm gonna do this quick. Uh, Eleven dollars, ten dollars for the PSP. Uh, it probably needs a new battery. Came with Grand Theft Auto. No, oh, wait. Pursuit Force. So this is the game that goes in there. And it, Pursuit Force, I'm not familiar with. Ultimate Alliance. Let me, let's make sure that's the right one. Yeah. And uh, this game, Lord's Dog Town. Oh, wow. That must. It's a movie, UMD. PSP, that's a skateboard movie. And then uh, for a dollar, I bought a Toy Story Special Edition Blu-ray. All right, that's it. On to the next one. Paid eight bucks. Got a link. It's, I think it's an old one. Yeah, I got this Star Wars Pez, whatever, flea market. I only paid eight bucks. Uh, I don't know what this is, but I'm assuming it's some kind of vase. I couldn't it's really. It's like a Hallmark thing, I think. Is it? All right. Well, it was part of eight bucks. You can look at it. Uh, then I got these old. These are old Nickelodeon T-shirts. But they're like kid sizes. Yeah, it's a big Made in China sticker on the bottom. I don't know. It just it was cheap. Uh, so this is Nickelodeon Rewind. I don't know. These are older, but I thought they were cool. Let me see the size. See these? These are like small, right? Um, That's fairly odd, parents. Well, because it's Nickelodeon, so yeah, they're kids. T yeah, they're kids, but I mean, they might be good for eBay. If they're good for eBay, I might just yeah, small. Well, maybe somebody could. This one is like Rocco's Martin. Stuff. Yeah, sometimes they don't mind that. I'll just put, I'll put them on the rack. Oh, and that's a Castlevania one. But again, it's like a kid size. Yeah, so. Maybe somebody could be cut it out and, and sew it yeah, on. Yeah, oh, like a jacket, jacket or something. It's very true, very clever. Um, but I'm just going to bring them to the store. Like everything in here can go in the store, and then I'll decide what to do with it. Okay. Oh, $8. Okay, uh, $6. I got this, which I'll show in a second, and this. This is nice. It's a cloisonne egg. It came with a stand. That It seems to fit. Although, I don't know if it I was... I think more of a crystal ball. Thing yeah, now. I don't know if it was meant for this. Mm -hmm. But it, it is Asian. It does have that kind of fishy dragon thing. And I got this Jimi Hendrix shirt. And I'm going to look it up. It was $4. It's made by Liquid Blue. It's really... Here, let me just spread it. It's really cool. It says, Jimi Hendrix Experience. Uh, Axis Bold as Love. And it says, Authentic Hendrix. Oh, there it is. It's like 2000... It's not old. 2006. It's like 15 years old. Um, so I am assuming I'm gonna. I paid four dollars for it because it's so nice and cool and colorful. I'll put it in the shop. I'll be like ten bucks. Uh, and that is all. On to the next. Two more sales, right? Yeah. So let's see. Maybe I get something good. All right. Bag of toys, five bucks. This is most likely flea market stuff. I'll look this up. This John Deere thing, but it's probably missing the hose. It's missing the hose. I don't know. I'll look it up. 
Uh, Power Ranger. Something's going on with his back, but no. Had a weapon or yeah, a weapon or something. But I can probably get at least three or whatever. There's another Power Ranger. This is a cheap one. Probably get a few dollars for that or a dollar. There's a Power Ranger. Nothing. But this stuff is good for the flea market. That's Pokemon. Oh, here's a Transformer guy. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I bought this. They had five on it. And I was like, would you take three? Because I was just being cheap. But uh, I could probably sell this for a buck or two for sure at the flea market. Uh, here's another weird Pokemon figure. Oh, a Power Ranger. Oh, yeah, Power Ranger. Look, the, the leg is backwards. That's what's blowing my mind. Okay, I'll look at that later. Power Ranger. Um, these look like not G.I. Joe's. This one looks older. They make these, uh, and they sell them at the dollar store. But these, I gotta look at these carefully. Uh, I think this is Ultraman. It was a Japanese family. This Pokemon scuffed up. That's, I, I've tried, I can't remember the name of that one, but I think it's super strong. Some kind of weapon. Uh, nonsense. Here's a weapon. Looks like Power Ranger. Uh, nonsense. Here's another Power Ranger. Probably flea market. Oh, this guy's got busted legs. Yeah. Cheap, 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 cheap. Here's another. Oh, he just called me. Oh, she's broken. Uh, there. Yeah, you can see everything. For five bucks, I'll probably make 15. Okay, let me answer AJ. Bye. Okay, this is what I got last sale. No more sales to go to today. I'll be heading to the shop uh, shortly. Uh, for $10, I got a Sonic Adventure to the trial, which is probably worth really good money if it works. Um, it's kind of scuffed up. It might need to be polished. Sonic Adventure 1 has jumped in price, so I'm just going to hold on to that to test it to see. Then I got a DDR dance mix for PS1. I'll put this for five bucks if it works. It's probably worth five to ten, maybe. Uh, let's see. If there was anything exciting, um, that's why it was only a dollar piece. Pro Pinball, Fantastic Journey. I'm not really familiar with this game. Nice and clean. Uh, Sims theme park probably not worth too much, but I will put it for five dollars in case somebody wants a PS1 game. Uh, then I got this. These are throw-in, good for throw-ins. Sega Dreamcast games. If I do get a Sega Dreamcast, I can use that as a throw-in. Or I got these. Uh, these are from magazines, Dreamcast uh, magazines, but they have playable demos. I don't know if these are worth anything. Uh, this has Dead or Alive 2, Carrier, F F F F1, World Grand Prix, Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, Slave Zero, Gundam uh, Side Story, 09 Revolt. But I would use this as a throw-in. If I got a Sega Dreamcast, I'd just go, you know, it's, it's, it's playable demo, so. What's this? Oh, I got two um, GameCube games. They ought to be worth something. Um, Star Wars Rebel Strike. Need for Speed. Uh, Hot Pursuit 2. Dreamcast games are... I'm not familiar with them. I haven't been finding them. I'm assuming these are worth at least 8 and up. I don't know. No, I just don't know. I'm going to have to check prices on those. Oh, and here's another Dreamcast playable demo. Again, if I get a Dreamcast to sell, I will throw this in as, as the game. Uh, this one has Rayman MDK2, which I forget what that stands for. Virtual Striker 2, not really. Oh, a full version of Sega Swirl game. Hmm. And a Choo Choo Rocket. Does this have a full version of nothing? No, it doesn't. Wait a minute, what's that say? Includes demos. No, okay. And then the last game. I got 10, so it was 10 for 10. 
And it appears to be... Oh, a Sega Dreamcast generator. Playable bits and video clips. I don't know what this is. Ready to rumble. It might be another demo disc. Yeah, it's demo. Demo software not yet rated. Let's see what it's got. Ready to rumble, boxing, Power Stone, Monaco Grand P, House of... Uh, did I say P? Pre. Uh, House of the Dead 2, Sonic Adventure, Sega Bass Fishing, Champ Car Racing, and Flag to Flag. And more? Okay. All right, that's it. Uh, day's done. Uh, I'm going to get something to eat, then I'm going to destroy. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.